everybody welcome to my free class oh already i can feel my voice going weird because i've got spirit coming through i've got a tag sticking out so we'll chuck that away and we'll make a start how are you today hope you are well happy valentine's day hope you're loving on yourself really hard because it's so important this is a huge thing self-love so whether you're in a relationship or not, make sure you are loving on yourself really well. I don't know what's going on with my top today, but it all seems wrinkly and weird. Anyway, if you are joining me live, please say hello to me. If you're watching replay, I um, hope you're enjoying it too. If you're on live, you're going to be able to ask questions. And I know some people posted questions in the Facebook group, so hopefully we will have time to go through those as well. She says, scrolling down, looking for them. I saw them before, now I can't see where they've gone. Oh, I don't know. Here they are. I've got them. I've got them. I've got them. So, um, we'll just give it a moment for some more people to come on through and watch because um, I need to start with a confession and um this isn't sort of how i planned for this class at all but um i've got to be in my truth and got to be really honest with you what's going on hey jan adele good to have you here uh, sarah lovely to say hello to you all this morning hey jojo um so here we go shall i do oh my goodness um this is not what i planned at all but it's good it's good and um, i woke up this morning because i've been on the fence for about a week now and if anyone is on the fence with anything where well, you can't quite decide what to do in any shape or form and you make a decision and then you doubt it and then you do something else and you doubt it and it goes well all gets all muddled and you're sitting on the fence and it's a really uncomfortable place to sit isn't it a really uncomfortable place to sit so um here's what happened um for me over the last sort of i don't know maybe maybe six months morning claire and marie um and i promise you we are still going to get around to uh discussing and telling you how to hear your angels but here's what's been happening for me Obviously, I have been all about angels and law of attraction for the last 10 years. That's what I've been teaching. And I love it. And it has, like, changed my life hugely. I've helped lots of other people change their lives by using these things. But in the last couple of years, something else has come into my life. And that is passion. And having um, more passion in my life is something that's really, really important to me. So much so that I set the intention in January for my word of the year to be passion. And I wanted everything that I did in life, I wanted to feel passionate about it. Because that's what the word of the year is about, you know. And, you know, don't worry if you haven't made a word of the year yet, you can still make one. You can do a word of the week, word of the month, word of the year, whatever you want. It's an intention setting thing. But I set a very clear intention that everything I did this year I had to do because I was passionate about it. Hello if you just joined me. I'm a bit, a bit of a flow now so I can't read all your names. I need to stay on my channel. And in that I woke up this morning and thought oh my goodness my new program that I was launching Spiritual Academy is not in alignment with passion. I'm not passionate about it. I'm not passionate in teaching that anymore. I use it every day within my life. I use all my connections. But the thought of um, turning up and supporting people in a group, because I'm really, really supportive as a coach, whether you work with me one-to-one -one, um, or in a group. And I thought, I, it just doesn't do it for me. I'm just like, oh, and we all know what it's like when you feel like, oh, and I don't want to go to work. That's the last thing I want. I want to feel like, oh my God, I can't wait to get up in the morning and do my work. I am excited to turn up. And even when I start thinking about that now, about my work with passion, with orgasms, with angels, with law of attraction, I'm like, yes, I'm excited to do it. Thinking about working in just spiritual development, and I'm just like, mm, no. It's just, it flatlines me. It's not doing it for me. 
So I've pulled the plug on it. <laughs> pulled the plug on it because it's just not in alignment with where I am at now. And I want you to have the best of me in whatever shape or form that might come. Now, for me to keep turning up and talking about using um, pendulums, dowsing rods, working with spirit, right? Even though I do those things, you know, often for myself, um, I'm just not excited to teach that anymore. It's just not in alignment. I've shifted big way, Joe, big, big way. And I am still shifting. And that's just what, this is what this whole journey of life is about. Do you not think that we're always shifting and moving on? Because, um, yeah, maybe I should, Joe. Um, because I'm just like, it's just not floating my boat. You know, it's really just not floating my boat. But we're always changing. We're always evolving. We're always um moving on and you know this is great because when we're doing this it shows we're still alive which shows that you know we're we're making choices of and this is what life's about is about making choices of what you want and what you don't want aligning your energy to it when we get stuck when we get held back it's when we're doing things that are not floating our boat i mean i want a purely orgasmic life i want orgasms in every you know every area of my life i want to feel the thrills the chills and absolutely amazingly good vibrations all the time so i woke up with this crystal clear clarity this morning that spiritual academy is not going to go i'm just not going to do it and i can't tell you um thank you claire i can't tell you what a relief that felt like it was just like the last week has felt sticky and not flowing the way I want it. And as soon as I'd made that decision and got off that frigging fence, it was like, oh my goodness, yes, yes, I'm back. I'm back. I could feel my energy lifting. I was excited again. And I thought, yeah, this is exactly what I need to do. So, Spiritual Academy is scrapped. If you've joined it, I will be contacting you and giving you a refund or offering you something else because there is other ways I can support you. But I'm not going to put myself through turning up for six months, week upon week, doing something that isn't in alignment with my passion. So there we go. So this class was about leading into Spiritual Academy. Um, but it is still leading into something because it's leading into my passion and my passion is that without my angels and hearing the communication from my angels I couldn't have made that decision I couldn't have had that crystal clear clarity this morning so <laughs> I'm glad you're giving me so many hearts thank you because I was like I wasn't sure how I was going to tell you this um and it's a funny thing when you are um just talking to a camera and you can see people's little comments so um thank you i'm glad that you support that we can't just do it because it's expected of us you know i am known for angels and law of attraction and i have been for a long long time and spiritual development is where i started but spiritual development is not me moving forward not me moving forward so because I felt so supportive with my angels, because they have totally given me the clarity and the guidance that I needed to make this decision, making this decision has been a lot easier and I could have stayed stuck on that fence. And this is a message to you all because maybe you're doing things that don't feel like a really good fit for you, but you're doing them because you feel expected to do them. And that in the work that I do within like my passion work within my bliss work is all called an energy leak and an energy leak is where we're giving energy to something that isn't in alignment with what we want it is draining us and not filling us up so have you got any energy leaks in your life is the people that are bleeding you dry is the things that are meaning your energy feels depleted because if so you need to do something about it you need to plug it you need to stop that energy leak because then your energy comes back for doing all the things that you want to do and having my angels guidance is absolutely incredible it makes a huge difference to my life 
on an everyday level that's never ever going to go away that's always going to underpin everything that i do and your angels should be underpinning everything that you're doing you should be making you know your connections with your angels daily and i'm glad you need to hear this denise um making your connections with your angels daily building that relationship with them i always say having a relationship with your angel is like having a relationship with a friend you need to build it up it doesn't happen overnight you just don't meet your angel and that's it you know it it takes time to understand the communication and hearing them is something that we often want to do and i promise you i want to talk to you more about that in a moment but here's what is really funny right so i was working with one of my bliss clients this week we were on a session and i was telling her an example of how to do an exercise and the exercise involved me telling a story about um how i turned bad dating into good dating and i was telling a story and particularly about a guy that i went on a date with that i had an amazing date with and as i was telling this story obviously i thought about him lo and behold lo and behold that same person sent me a message right sent me a message we haven't been in touch for a couple of years don't know why out of the blue when i was talking about him that he decided to send me a message but that's energy that's how powerful this stuff is and he sent me a message i'm going to share the message with you because it really sort of it really strengthens why you should have a relationship with your angel and he said yes i'm reading it now he says you totally transformed my life the way i look at everything i'm so positive now i speak to my angels every day and i've never known peace like it I trust that everything will always work out for me and I feel so taken care of. It's not that amazing? That is so amazing. This wasn't a person that um, worked with me. He just dated me. But in doing that, he found his angels and he feels so peaceful and taken care of and he couldn't have described it any better than that because that's what having your angels in your life is all about that's how it feels it really feels like that it's just just the most incredible support ever and i think the bit where people fall down is when they're wanting to hear their angels and they think that they should be able to hear them as clearly as you can hear me now and honestly, that is not the truth of how angels communicate. You're very lucky. If you can hear your angels like you can hear me, you are in a very small percentage of people. And you will hear me saying, oh, my angels said. And you'll hear other people saying, spirit said. And they might hear them. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do, Joe. You might hear them, but not like you're hearing me. Because to have clear audience, which is what you what you need to have to be able to hear spirit, sometimes you hear it inside your head. But for me, honestly, the way that I hear isn't like that. And I'm going to tell you how it is for me in a minute. But before I tell you that, I want you to think for a moment why you want to hear your angels. And tell me, tell me why. Why do you want to hear your angels? What is it that you want from hearing them? Thank you for all the love, especially on Valentine's Day. <coughs> Hugs back. Why do you want to hear them? What will it give you to hear your angels? Come on, don't be shy. Tell me. Because quite often we, we want something, but we don't know why we want it. You want guidance. They always give divine guidance, yeah. Guidance. Exactly. Clarity. Guidance. Guidance and reassurance, yeah. Clarity. That I've got the guidance correctly. Confirm I'm going in the right direction totally. I want that calming feeling, if it makes sense, to give me comfort and happiness. 
yeah to know they're around guidance love clarity I hadn't really thought about it why before now yeah totally affirmation yeah guidance support yes guidance and support that's definitely it for me I want guidance and I want support I want to feel taken care of I want to feel like I'm so looked after that I'm so you know I can't get it wrong that whatever happens they've got my back I want to feel held I want to feel supported that's what I want and that's what I get that's totally what I get when I get out of my own way totally yeah you've, you've all nailed it you've all totally nailed it that is why we want it we want to hear our angels because we want all of those things and my way that I communicate with angels and the way that they communicate with me is often not them talking to me but they will I will ask a question I'll sit in meditation and that makes me sound like I'm sitting there cross-legged and omming or something like that but literally it's going quiet and going within and focusing on my breath for a few seconds and centering myself and asking my question and a good idea comes like a light bulb moment comes and when that comes I know that's my angel's answer and there is times let me tell you that I will then come out of that and think I didn't get anything god damn those angels they didn't answer me okay that's what it sometimes happens but then I'll go onto my news feed on Facebook and I'll see some synchronicities or I'll see somebody's post and that'll be my answer because that's the way the angels talk to you they talk to you in a way that you need them to talk to you they craft their communication with you around the way that you need it and if you haven't got clear audience doesn't mean to say you can't communicate with your angels you totally can and if you're wanting to manifest something you can ask them how can I manifest this and those ideas will come into your head but you will have that support 24 7 and I know for me having support having guidance gives me so much flow in my life But that hearing is also a feeling. So you'll often hear me speak about this when I say that you know, angels is like it's a feeling, a sense of knowingness. Your intuition is a feeling, a sense of knowingness. And that is bigger and greater than you hearing them. And you translate that feeling, that sense, that knowingness into words. And for me, when I'm doing readings... I don't know what those words are until they literally fall out of my mouth. So I'll look at the cards and I'll be channeling guidance and I have got no idea what it is until it comes out of my mouth. No idea. I, I've not thought about it. Like when you're having a conversation, you know what you want to say and you articulate it. When you are channeling guidance, you've got no idea. No idea. But you will know it. And this is the trick, okay? This is the real bit you need to know. You will know it in every cell of your body when it's your angels talking to you. When those feelings, that knowingness, the synchronicities, the messages on Facebook, however it's coming to you, when you piece it all together, you will absolutely know 100% it's your angels not might be could be not sure no you know and you only get that by building up your relationship with them by building up your communication communicating with them every day having chats with your angels every day that's how you know because hearing your angels isn't complicated it really isn't this making sense to you let me know
Let me know if it's making sense. So while we're doing that, we're going to look at some people's questions. Um, okay. I'll be sleeping during the live feed, so thanks for opening this thread. <laughs> yeah and that the doubting only comes as you start to build your relationship so um or shall i say that only disappears as you start to build your relationship yes i'm glad it's making sense um oh good sarah i mean look what else you've said yeah that's wonderful so Kerry says, how do I hear through buzzing to get the messages? Sometimes you do get buzzing in your ear and sometimes you need to work out whether that's a yes, I should do something or no, I shouldn't. You sort of need to work that out for yourself. As I said to you before, your communication with your angels is personal to you. So you need to work out what your signs are. You know, it's only by piecing it together like i say it's get, like getting to know your new friend it's the same thing with your angels um i'd like to have a name associated with my angel do they have names um they don't actually have names the truth is they don't have names they're not people they're not male they're not female they're an energy um but if you need a name they will give you a name morse code yeah like morse code that's brilliant Mm. no worries Sarah no worries we're round to questions um Gillian asks how can I be sure what messages they give me you just know it you absolutely know it um signs that they might give you is what Donna asks you know you get uh, little white feathers is like the angel calling card you get messages in music you get buzzes in your ears sparkly lights um uh, little bird coming close to you the tittles as if they feel like they're touching your face uh, that is a great question where do the feathers come from sally often the feathers can come from birds but i have had feathers i in fact i have one on my desk somewhere if my cleaner hasn't cleaned it away um maybe she has there was one on my desk here the other day it's about this big and um it literally came down here from nowhere and when i was doing a, a, a reading with someone a feather dropped down i mean how can that happen i'm at my desk there's no there's no cushions so they do come in the most random of places i can remember as well being on a photo shoot one day um and the photographer that was there was a few of us all spiritual people having a photo shoot and the photographer didn't believe in what we did it was very but he was doing it um because he wanted to he wanted to understand the sort of the, the the mystical things going on so um he's doing this photo shoot and he was saying about this and signs and stuff and i went oh sometimes you get feathers and as i said that a feather dropped down and he caught it on camera seriously they turn up in the most amazing ways in the most random of places um but this is what it's like working with your angels. Uh, what else have we got? Happy Valentine's Day, Susan, too. When did, when I did meet your guardian angel? Joseph, so stick with the name Joseph. Um, to be honest, they're not bothered whether you give them a name or not. As long as you ask them into your life, you've done your bit. Makes sense, but you told me once. <laughs> Uh, I lived in a witch as a witch like I'm a witch too Sherry in a past life for sure uh, you know how can you open up to it more hmm do you mean your past life because that requires you know to go back and there is ways of doing that within meditation with your spirit guides um if you're wanting to bring your witchy qualities through into this life just embrace them just be open to it and, and let it happen as it needs to happen um oh my goodness we went a little bit quick there where am i up to they come up everywhere they do flashes um yeah i get flashes too if it's a bird timing synchronicity noticing it yeah robins are a big one 
yeah ask for signs that you understand if you're not sure ask again you know yesterday was the first time i saw a spark like the corner of my eye um <laughs> yeah we do doubt it at first and only when it keeps happening do we then start to trust it more um oh, let me tell you this story right i was in meditation and this isn't that long ago maybe maybe two months ago i was in meditation because it is something that i do every day in some shape or form and i had a twitch in my finger i can't even remember which one it was now but it was definitely on this hand and it was really annoying me and i couldn't stay focused in my meditation i was just focusing on this frigging twitch in my finger and it was really going it wasn't just a little one it was really wobbling around so i said to the angels please can you stop my twitch and my twitch stopped and even that blew my mind i've been doing this since 2000 connecting for myself i was like whoa that's a bit weird surely not i thought mm, i'm gonna test this so i said okay if that was you angel make it twitch again my finger started to twitch again seriously i'm like okay so then i said okay thank you stop it now make it stop twitching it stopped on my kid's life that is what happened it blew my mind it blew my mind so we do doubt i did doubt in that moment that was my angels but it was it totally was um they proved it to me and you know when i started out connecting with my angels i did counseling training and i was working with one of my clients and she had a whole whole load of stuff going on and it felt a little bit too much for me if i'm honest and i said to her what you need is your angels but don't tell anyone i told you because they're gonna think i'm mad and at that point in my development this is you know this is when i was just learning myself about angels i didn't have the confidence to say to other people about it and i didn't have enough confidence in them because they hadn't proved themselves enough to me but now obviously i'm telling the world about angels and i don't give a stuff really what people think people can make judgments as much as they like i know they're real you know i know they stop my finger from twitching you know it is totally the truth and it just takes confidence and time and trust and it, you know don't worry if you you know you doubt it um feel like you've worked on it forever sherry and you will work on it forever sometimes when you have so much going on i almost feel blocked mm, well yeah when we are so distracted it's an energy leak isn't it you know as i was speaking about before when we haven't got that um you know clarity we're, we're like spewing all this energy in directions that are not you know helping us life flows life feels so much better when you haven't got those sort of things going on but only you know by sifting and sorting because quite often we're giving things attention that we don't even need to give attention to it's not our stuff <clears throat> um cold air around my face and legs that's totally it jan um that's an archangel by the way that you're connecting with uh laurie awesome thank you joe Oh my goodness, Sally, you must tell me about that next time we're talking on Bliss. I'd love to hear that story. Your angels saved you from a cobra in Indian in India. My angels have saved me lots of times, I'll be honest. When I was driving down the road one day, I was this is when my kids were quite small. We were going to school. We were late. We were always late for school. Um my timekeeping isn't my best thing. And um <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm remembering how crazy it was in the morning. We get into the car and we had about a 10 minute journey to school, five, 10 minutes, something like that, depending how fast I drove. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we'd always sit off late, but we'd always arrive on time because the angels are brilliant at bending time. So we always arrived on time. We always sit off late, arrived on time, but we we're going down this road and it was a shocking morning. And I only had one hand on the wheel and I heard my angel say, put two hands on the wheel. Well, I didn't doubt it. If they're going to tell me something like that, I held on. And as we went round this corner, there was this um, big 
road truck unblocking the gutters and the drains and things. Um, and if I hadn't have like slowed down and put two hands on the wheel, I probably would have crashed into it. So my angels totally saved me then. And there was another occasion that one of my clients, um, she was driving down the motorway and she was in the fast lane and she heard her angel say to her, pull over. So she pulled over and as she got into the slow lane, um, I'm sure there's better terminology than fast and slow lane, but you know what I mean. Um, her tyre blew and she was able to get onto the hard shoulder. But if she hadn't have been, if she'd still been in that fast lane, it could have been a very different story. So literally your angels can shout things out to you. But quite often your communication on a daily basis is a feeling, a sense and a knowingness that you translate into something that works for you. So let's go back to the questions in the group. Um, Wendy McClure, I message you but no reply. I do not know what that means. I've not had a message from you, Wendy. If you want to message me again, please do. Um, oh, I don't know what, Jan, two angel cards in a row, spot on. Um, don't sure what that means. Questions for which angels de-stress? De you don't need to worry about which angels you ask to help you. Just ask your angels to help you. Let them direct it to where they where it needs to go. If an archangel needs to come in, they'll bring an archangel in. You don't need to worry about um, who you're asking. The fact is that you are absolutely, you know, open to, you know, angelic guidance and support and let them move it around to wherever they need to. There's, there's no need to make it any more complicated. I think half the problem with people connecting with their angels is they want to make it more complicated than it actually is. It's really a case of just asking, expecting and receiving. And that's it. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't go looking what 222 means in a book or, you know, let it sit with you and let you understand um, your own angel's guidance this is your own personal relationship with your angels and, and use it so no I don't use any codes or anything like that Elizabeth I have been saved from a potentially fatal accident by shouting weight inside my head yeah totally yeah yeah totally Nancy yeah this is you know you can hear those sort of things for sure uh, how can I make out the message my angel is shown with me through a high-pitched noise in my ear? Sometimes that buzzing that you get in your ear, people could think it's tinnitus or something like that. But that buzzing can be that your angels are sort of almost retuning you so that you can hear their, um, hear their communication better. But also it can be that if you get a buzz, it means to do something. If you also get a buzz, it can mean not to do something. And it's for you to work out because you'll know, as I said before, you'll know in every sense, cell of your body which one it is. Do you use any music while you meditate or total silence? Um, I I like variety, Laurie. So I do um, everything. I do sound meditation, so I do the alms. I do listen to music sometimes, um, depending on the vibration of the music. Sometimes I just sit quietly, go within. Sometimes I follow a guided meditation. Sometimes I do a walking meditation. I actually really find swimming really meditative as well. So, you know, I really like a lot of variety. The one thing I don't like to do is get bored. Um, your cosmic tune and I'm dancing. I love that. I absolutely love that. <laughs> So, every day, Caroline, every day, meditate. And I look at like, um, I'll do my grounding and protection in the morning and then I'll just add on a bit of time and do a little bit of meditation. But sometimes then I um, do extra meditations and think, oh, I'm gonna treat myself and do this meditation that maybe somebody else has recommended or that I've come across because, if you've not got Insight Timer on your phone, get it because it's full of awesome meditations. Mine is on there too, by the way. Meet Your Guardian Angel Meditation is on there on Insight Timer. It's totally free. Um, but yeah, I just like to really mix it up. 
Teresa, when you meditate, do you open your chakras? If I'm doing a chakra meditation, I certainly would. I would open my chakras. I'd align my chakras. Um, I would make sure that, you know, they're all... <clears throat> um, if, it, if one's out of kilter, if one isn't sort of um, spinning as as fast and as clearly as the others i'd do a bit of work on that do you know depending what it's relating to because obviously your base chakra is very much fight and flight um your sacral um is all about pleasure and passion um you know so you just sort of align them all that way but i don't particularly open them during normal um normal meditations my third eye and my crown chakras are the chakras that you need for clairvoyance and um as i'm very clairvoyant uh, i don't have to open them up when i'm teaching people to do that is um you know i do get them to open them up but if you've opened them please remember to close them down you don't want to be walking around with your chakras open it could be very drafty <laughs> oh dear <clears throat> No, seriously, you don't want to walk around with your chakras open. No, you don't. Insight timer. Yes, that's what it's called. Uh, I'm glad you're loving the, the Metatron meditation, Nancy, that I put in Abundance Club this month. Thank you for saying that. Uh, yeah, angels will play music to you, Jan. You can hear like angelic tunes sometimes. So... You know what I've come to realise in all of this though, um, that support is absolutely massive on your journey. Um, opposite way, the way that you close, you, you open them up and then you close them down the same way. That's how I do it, Laurie. Um, support, guidance, you know, having your angels in your life is incredible, absolutely incredible. Um, totally transformed my life. And the other thing that's transformed my life is having support in the form of a coach, in a form of a mentor, in the form of uh, daily help and um, someone that's like one or two steps ahead of you because uh, it just makes everything so much easier. So if you want to work with me and be happier, feel more sexy, make a lot more money, whatever it is, feel more connected, have a lot more clarity, inner peace, all of that stuff. And you want to work with me in a really intimate way. And when I say intimate, I mean that you um, have access to me sort of 24 seven in a little group. The group is like a little boudoir group. It's just me and you in a Facebook group. So as well as our weekly sessions, our half days, our spa days, uh, oh, thank you, Sally. Coaching, absolutely bliss. It's amazing. Sally was my first bliss client. Obviously, I've been coaching for a long time, but I've now offered this um, bliss coaching, which combines angels, law of attraction, and passion. So making sure you're passionate about all you do. And if you were at the beginning of this class today, you will know what I was talking about when I was had to make a decision this morning on something that I wasn't passionate about. So it's about working in alignment. It's still about feeling connected by your angels. It's still about using law of attraction, but also using the power of passion. And the power of passion is orgasmic. It means that we do work with orgasm and we do work with that sexual energy, which has a ripple effect for the rest of your life. I can't tell you how many women I have worked with in the last 10 years that have gone, I want more money, I want um, better health. And the thing that they're not addressing is the elephant in the room is they're not getting any passion. They are either not in a relationship or the relationship that they're in hasn't got that element anymore. And it really leaves you stuck. It is the most creative energy as a woman we can work with. Working with the energy of passion, working with that womb energy, because that womb of yours creates life. And that creative energy can have the ripple effect in every other area of your life. So it's not a how-to program. I'm not telling you how to orgasm, but I am telling you why you need to orgasm, why you need to use that energy to manifest in your life. Because honestly, it, I've been a good manifester for a lot of years. I've been an awesome manifester for the last maybe 10 years 
but now I am off the scale manifesting. I manifest. I'm scared of having thoughts because they manifest. I have to be really careful what I think. I'm manifesting super frigging quick like that. It is unbelievable. So if that's something that you want to talk about, if you want to work at that really intimate, deeper level, because not only do we have the weekly sessions, because we have connection every day in a Facebook group, it really makes it flow. It makes it so that there's no stop start, that we're really sort of like weaving magic every day. I'm tuning into you all the time. You get my total support. And because of that level of support that you get, you know, there is a hefty price tag on it, but it also gets you hefty results in your life. It gives you more than I've ever given before in terms of connection, in terms of time with me, access to me and content because you get an absolute huge learning library too. So if that's something that you're interested in, today is a really good day to look at it because it's Valentine's Day and I'm going to put a Valentine offer on it. So send me a message if that feels like it is for you. But thank you for either getting up early or stopping your day in some sort of way to watch this class. Um, it wasn't what I actually planned when I decided I was going to do a class on angel and hearing your angels. Um, but it feels really right and I've really enjoyed spending some time with you. So I hope you've got something from it too. That is it. Enjoy your Valentine's Day and love on yourselves really hard. Bye for now.